we would be flung off into outer space at, at tremendous velocities far beyond our capacity to withstand the pressures. We would just ah, explode it, and oh, there'd be nothing left of us. Moron! Imbecile! Why would you give out a free game card? I thought we were supposed to give out free game cards to customers who were upset. Not anymore! We cannot afford it! I'm the only one to make gift demo now. Okay. Thanks for the memo. And don't make me yell in front of the customers. Right. Gentlemen, welcome to 66 Street Lakes. May you roll well this evening. This place is disgusting, bro. You didn't tell me you were taking me to Vancouver's anus. God, I miss Yale Town already. First time I leave it in years, and this is where you take me. Shut up, man. You pay me 100 bucks, so you're gonna kick my ass in bowling. And this place is fine. Are you really that prissy? Sure, it's not like all clean cut and over the top expensive like Yale Town. But it's got his own charm, right? <laughs> All right, that was just bad timing. Laughter's over, is it? It's on for real now? It's been on from the get-go. Sorry, I didn't realize that. I thought we were just fucking around. I'll get serious now. Pressure, butt pressure. <laughs> Throw one of your uh, patented gutter ball, and the hundred dollar bill is mine. Ha! Ah! Ah! I knew it! Ha! Ha! I knew it! I knew you didn't have it, man. You didn't stand a chance, man. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, oh man! Oh. Bro, do you have any idea how much I paid for these pants? Oh, yo, good work, man. It's a try. Let's get that fixed. Oh, shit. I'm not leaving until I get my free game, man. I already told you. That's not happening. Well, you're paying for these pants. What pants? Well, I threw them in the garbage. I can't be seen wearing ripped pants, man. Yeah, let's just, let's just go. Look, why don't you just go back to the thrift store and buy another pair? Thrift store? Thrift, thrift store? I, bu I bought those pants in New York. They cost $2,000. They were hemmed by an Egyptian artisan. By an Egyptian artisan who hemmed them with a rare spider silk ethically harvested from the Amazon. Okay, I'm not buying that. All right, let me speak to the manager. I've got a lot to talk to him about. Oh, our manager is a woman. Yeah. 
and I'm gonna have to go ahead and kindly remove you from the premises. Hey, whoa, hey. You guys, you guys touched me. I'll be back here with the angels of hell. And they'll tear this place apart, you guys included, man. A biker gang? Really? You're so full of shit. Why don't you just take yourself and your striped boxer briefs and get the hell out of here? Or I could just call the cops. We're leaving, we're leaving. I can't believe we've heard of them. I mean, most people look at me weird when I tell them that I listen to the fetus eaters. All right. Later. Meredith, you look like somebody who cares about the future of our planet and our precious primordial species like me. Do I have a story to tell you? It starts in 1950. A true era of metaphysical enlightenment and consciousness awakening when the renowned author L. Ron Hubbard no. first wrote his okay, book cool. in science yeah, fiction. Okay, and then in the awesome. in science fiction chronicle in two parts. And then it told the chronicle the story about the a kid, the star Hound of Heaven, the starship. You you know all that, the chronicling kid doesn't even know he took a strip of a straw. Jeez, kids don't know anything. Nothing. Okay, so, and then I think everything's fine. And then all of a sudden this guy's like boarding a plane back to Beijing. And I'm like, excuse me, I'm not going to Japan, you know, so. Okay, uh, I guess I was done. Oh, hey, Harold. <laughs> Joy, so let's you hang out here, huh? Hey, I heard you talking about planes. Did mm -hmm. you know that air travel? It's all a fraud. Listen, let's say, let's say the Earth was round, right? Well, how is it that the flying up and the flying down are the shortest parts of any flight? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, think about it. The gyroscopic capacitors of any hydrogen-based ballast system would make the whole... <laughs> Yeah, you know that, right? Because, I mean, we would be flung off into outer space at, at tremendous velocities far beyond our capacity to withstand the pressure. We would just ah, we explode it, and oh, there'd be nothing left of us. And then the moon. Oh, you know the moon, right? Oh, don't get me started on the moon. It isn't what they say it is. Not for a second. Think about it. You can see it what? At night? <laughs> you can see it in the daytime too. Does that make any sense? You've got the power of the prime meridian acting with the gravitational pull of Mercury that's pulling all these celestial bodies around, creating chaos. It just, it makes it so impossible. Don't you understand? I do, I have to spell it out for you. M O O N. Yeah, the N part. There is no moon. It's as plain as day. <laughs> it's as plain as day. There is no moon. Oh no. my oh my god, it's it's super late. I actually gotta, right. oh, no, I gotta but, run. <laughs> so no, but wait, wait. Real fun. We here. didn't get to the good stuff. Fun, good no, chat. no, we, okay. we're getting to the best part. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna study. Jupiter. We were gonna oh, talk gonna... about Jupiter and, and Pluto. Don't even worry about it. I got you. Oh, no, I got remember you. to watch. Okay. You're okay. Watch okay. Don't forget to watch those nine hours of internet stuff. I wrote them all down for you. Okay, I told you to watch there, allconspiracies.com. Uh Oh, what's the other one? Oh, I can't I can't even read my writing here. World War Three was just yesterday. Yeah, oh, yeah. Don't look at me. I know it says do not disturb on the...
find joy. Mm. I still say it's too soon. You just met three weeks ago. No? Well, when you know, you know, and I know. Okay, fine. You can have your wedding here. $10,000. What? No way. That's way too much. Okay, it was worth a shot. Five hundred, just for you. That's much better. I think we can afford that. You are going to be her maid of honor, and that's that. I already told you you would do it. And we desperately need that $500! We wouldn't need that $500 if you feel the colors already! Don't, Don't just stop with that again! <laughs> what took you so long? I almost bowled for you. Well, I wouldn't have minded. And I took so long because there was this random guy, Simon. He said he wants to be the best man at our wedding. I know Simon, he's here all the time. I hope you said yes. Well, yeah, I mean, I didn't know what else to say. It was painfully awkward. Is everything okay? Yeah, now everything's fine. Now we can finally be happy. We've been roped in setting up for this damned wedding. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the understatement of the eon. I would rather eat shit or be dead in a ditch than hanging out with you two. <sighs> yeah, you're dark. We get it. Mega death. After everything I did for her as well. What's he talking about? Well, I just. Um... You two are always complaining about everything. You need to focus on the precious moments of life. Hello. Yeah. Oh my god, Blake. Don't worry. I got it from... Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Let's just... Let's do it. Why the sudden change of heart? Blake's right. I am. Yeah, what's the point in being depressed all the time? Life's for the living, right? You only get one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Seriously, what's gotten into you? Okay, okay. I heard I like you. Here we go. Oliver, we don't have all night. A time like the present. It's mm. mm. good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good luck, fellas. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> don't you worry. This is gonna be a good trip. Just don't get weird on me. I'm not gonna get weird. After I broke my thumb in that tournament, the, the doctor said I would never, never game again. That's pretty much when my dad disowned me. Although that was nothing! That was nothing compared to what. Wait, are you. even listening to me? Ladies, the Blake Show has arrived. The Blake's the. so hot, so fresh. I'm so hot. I'm so sexy. Come and get me! Wait, cause you're not gonna listen. Can you at least put your damn shirt back on? Hey. Hey, don't you go yelling at me, Ollie boy. Look here, young man. What you need to focus on is that you and me are on two different rounds of reality that are coming towards each other if you're not into that, then you can just keep complaining. But I'm gonna do my trip. My way. 
I got you. Just put your shirt on. Please. I want to be in the reality where you wear a shirt. Yeah. I'm I want to put the shirt on. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a trip where we wear shirts. <laughs>